Kia ora, ki te pere koe, it's me again Nicholas Madison, I know it's been a while since I've done some vlogging, didn't really know what to vlog about, but today me and my wife were down in beautiful Dunedin, and we're basically down here for our anniversary, I'm going to do some vlogging while we're down here, show you guys some of the sites that we have, that we have down here, and hopefully you can enjoy our time as we have our have a fun time down here as well. Me and my wife are basically off to the museum at the moment. And hopefully I can do some filming there of what we're going to do is go see some butterflies. Hopefully we can get some to land on us. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you when we get back at the museum. So here I am at um, Otago Museum. So $10 to go see the butterflies. We're about to go in. As you can see, it says we need to start the door. Just waiting for my wife. And other people. But there are some interesting things you can do around here. Food, spinathon, make silk webs, silk ties, other puzzles. There's a lot of things you can do around here. Some things you might see in there. But yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy being in it. Hopefully it won't get too foggy. It's going to be quite humid. You go have a look at the toilet. Okay, my wife doesn't actually have a look at the toilet. So let's have a look at the toilet. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Right. Coolest toilet I've seen so far. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, we're going inside and hopefully we can see some fun, have some butterflies, see what it's like. Butterflies must remain inside the tropical forest. Please check your clothing and belongings carefully before leaving the quarantine area, as butterfly passengers can be easy. But like... Yeah. 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 I don't know if you guys can see, I feel a little bit more spectacular than what it is, but this is what I see. They fly really close to my head. I fly all around. See if I can get one to land on me. I stand still. Is there one on you? Is there? No. I want to get one on me. If we go down the bottom. Okay. Oh, man, I'm just okay. There it is. Oh, I on here. Wow, this right. is must like you more than me. <laughs> that, what, yeah, it's off your head now, yeah, just going. Rickety Bridge, Rickety Bridge. Here's a nice card one. You get the card with that one. Oh, yeah. So many butterflies, really cool. Pick this one up. Looks like it's had bit of been in the wars. Things are a bit damaged. Um, hopefully it won't be. Hopefully it can still fly around. You hit one on your shoulder. On my shoulder. I got one on my head. No. You got one.
Wow, look at that big one. There's a big one right in there. Let's see if I can get zoomed in. Wow. Well, Coming down the stairs now. The waterfall seems to have started. The little kids really enjoy this. Um, it's not that expensive, ten dollars. You get a wristband, come in and out as much as you want from Central um, Five. And yeah, you're gonna enjoy the butterflies around you. Um, yeah, it seems like it'll be a lot. Seems like it's a bit of fun. Even though people would enjoy it, my wife enjoys it. Yep. So we're enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's on the bottom level. You can see some carp down on the ground. It's a bit cooler down here than what it is up top. And a lot more butterflies seem to be down here. Turtles. Now what you see here is a butterfly in its natural habitat. Oh crikey. Got some turtles here. Oh, just like that is talking. Hello again. Um, moved on to locations, we're now on Baldwin Street, known as the world's steepest street. As you can see, that's what it is there. Sorry, a bit blurry. Camera's blurry for some unknown reason. If we can sort itself out, maybe not. That's what it looks like there. Um, me and my wife, we're going to walk up it. I'll show you the view from the top when we get up there. Um, other than that, you can enjoy the walk with us. I may keep you on, I may not. I may just see us running out of breath. I'm starting to already. You want to use the stairs or the just the paint hill? See, so we can use stairs. As you can see here, or the hills, the stairs make it a bit more easier to walk up it. That cow is going fast down. See, so yeah, we're just walking up the steepest street now. It's not the steepest part yet. Looks like it goes more of an angle the further up we get. But I'll see you guys at the top. Hey there, we're actually not even halfway near the top now. Um, as you can see it says there, Baldwin Street, the steepest street in the world. Here in Dunedin. <laughs> Here in Dunedin. In the world, but the world. here in Dunedin. No, you come to Dunedin. Just come to the world's steepest street. That's what people come here for. Isn't it? Yes, people all around the world would actually come here to walk up and down Bolden Street. It is nice exercise, I suppose you could say. Um, as you can look down, it changes three degrees of angles there's one steep part and others are another sort of angles um, people do drive up here um, they're crazy <laughs> that's all I can say and as you can see People live on the street as well. I mean, the view is good. 
see the view once this car has gone. And you this mule, I'll show you this. Looks pretty good. Bourbon Street is the world's steepest street. It is 350 meters long and has a maximum slope of about 1.286.19. The street was designed by Charles Kittle and named after William Baldwin, a newspaper founder who subdivided the area. The Baldwin Street Club Water Cup, so something, and Cadbury Jeffa Race. Once two of the best known runs events held on this street. So the gut bust in the Cadbury Jeffa Race they had on the street. Um, the Jeffa Race. Basically an orange ball covered in chocolate, covered orange covered ball of chocolate, and they'd roll it down, and then you basically had to run down after the Jeffa. It's kind of like you might have seen cheese rolling. It's sort of the same principle, but it's a Jeffa. But this is the view from the top. It is kind of lovely, very very nice. If you like that sort of stuff, very, very lovely. If you like that sort of stuff, it's very nice. You can see far and wide. Pretty nice. So that's it from me at the moment. Um, it is getting kind of late. We might go get some food. See how I go with the vlog in there. It has been a while. This will be kind of a raw vlog again. As, like I have said, it has been a while. I've forgotten how to do most of the stuff. But I hope you enjoy this. Um, yeah, I'll do some more vlogging throughout the week while the weekend while we're down here for three days. Um, it is the 19th of November, 2015, 16, 2016. Enjoying the view, coming to Baldwin as I've never been here before, and I'll catch you guys later. Small. Hey, Megan. Um, just gone into our, into our room. A little bit of shopping for some food, had some ice cream. We're now at Dunedin's famous, I don't know if it's famous, but we're at Dunedin's Chinese Gardens. <laughs> As you can see, it looks like we are in China. So it's kind of lovely. Um, how much was the ticket? Nine dollars. So it's quite good. Nine dollars to come and see something Chinese. If you don't want to go to China, if you come to Dunedin, you can come do that. It's actually quite lovely. The one downside is no carp in the water, which would make it more traditional Chinese by having the carp. There. Traditional buildings, um, these concrete rocks make it look like something from the Summer Palace. So it's interesting to have. Thank you for watching the vlog today. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Share this in with me, and Kia kaha.